problem. An open top box is to be formed from a 20 inch square piece of cardboard by cutting out equal squares from each of the four corners. What size should those four squares be in order to obtain the maximum volume? Also, what is the maximum volume? If you look at this diagram, you'll notice that the cardboard, which was originally 20 by 20, has those equal squares cut out of each corner. They measure x by x. After they are cut out, the length and the width now both become 20 minus 2x. So you have 20 minus 2x by 20 minus 2x. The height, as you will see in the next illustration, is x. If you look at this three-dimensional drawing, you see the results of not only cutting out the corners, but folding up the sides. The length and width are both, as indicated, 20 minus 2x. The height is x. Since it is a rectangular box, volume is length times width times height and is reflected in the bottom equation. We're now going to use the graphing calculator to solve this problem. First, turn on a calculator by pressing the on key in the bottom left of the keypad. If you press the Y equals key, which is located in the upper left, we can now put in the equation for volume. It's quantity 20 minus 2x. Close the parentheses. Start a new set of parentheses. 20 minus 2x. Close that one so we have length times width. Again in parentheses, press the x. So we have 20 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x times x. To graph this, we press we're first going to press the zoom key in the top middle. Item number six is zoom standard, so I'm going to press six. And we get basically nothing here at all, which is going to help us. Just a little bit on the upper right. And that's because we have to adjust our domain and we have to adjust our range. The domain would be X, the range would be Y. To do this on a calculator, press the window key. X reflects the size of the square. Well, if you cut nothing at all, x can be 0. The maximum size, since it's 20 by 20, is 10 by 10 squares. That, of course, will not give you any kind of a box, but that is the largest x value. y reflects the volume. A negative volume makes no mathematical sense here. So we're going to press 0 for y min. Y max would be the maximum volume that we're looking for. Because I've done the problem, I have an idea more or less what it is. But really, you could get it by trial and error and playing with the window screen as you graph it. I'm going to put in 750, which is plenty for Y max. To graph this, which should now reflect the parameters that we're concerned with, we'll press the upper right-hand button, Graph. And what we have is a simulation of what the volume is as we cut out squares that are getting larger and larger in size. Going around this way, from left to right, the x value reflects the size of the square. The smallest volume is 0 if you cut nothing out at all. And if you cut out 10, you still have no volume because if you look at it, all you have are four sheets of paper. This is the point we're interested in. This is the point where we have the highest volume. X would tell me what size square should be cut out to reach that point. In order to do this, we're going to use the calculate feature of the calculator. What we do is we press the second function key. Second the trace key gives us calculate, so it's second trace. 
and we're looking for maximum which is item number four if I press the digit four it presents me with some options it asks for the left bound using the left arrow key I'll move to the left of that uppermost point and when I'm satisfied that I am to the left I acknowledge so by pressing the enter key which gives me a marker to let me know where it is again looking at the prompt on the bottom it wants the right bound so using the right arrow key I could hold it down as I am now and I move to the right and I press enter again guess allows me to move closer to that point which I'm doing I don't have to I'm close enough to the top and I press enter again looking at that uppermost point the coordinates are shown on the bottom X reflects the size of the square Y reflects the absolute volume that is achieved by cutting out that side well according to this the number indicated is 3.3 .3 repeating and even though there's a 2 over here that's due to the limiting capabilities of any calculator so I, I could safely say that that X value is 10 thirds the absolute maximum volume which is the highest volume achieved with that sheet of cardboard is approximately 500 92.59 cubic inches this is a calculus problem we can get a very exact answer using calculus but the calculator the graphing calculator in effect shows us how to not only simulate the change in volume as we cut out the size but also how to obtain the size of the square and that maximum volume <music>